After about three months of letting my vampire crab polydarium's plants grow, I decided it was time to add some sherry shrimp to the mix. And that's when things started to get really interesting. I did need to ensure that the water parameters were just right for them. And since I used distilled water, I used some tourmaline balls and crushed corals to help keep the pH up, especially because the tannins from the wood in my water feature were bringing the pH down. So this stabilized the ecosystem. Unfortunately, with the shrimp came an infestation of bladder snails. So I got these assassin snails to combat the issue. After a quick cleaning from my shrimp, they set to work hunting down the bladder snails. My little ecosystem started to really stabilize after that. And it wasn't long after this that I made my most exciting discovery. My vampire crabs had been busy and I saw my very first baby vampire crabs in the water feature. Vampire crabs are really hard to source and don't always make it in shipping. So now that I've got them reproducing, I'm super excited. Here you can see just how small they are compared to my finger. My sherry shrimp population also started to explode. Make sure you guys check out part one to see how we got this far and subscribe for part two because you won't believe what happens next.